Listen, if you live in Baltimore County, you know that your trip to the grocery store is soon going to have a whole lot less plastic. Those bags will soon get the boot. Yeah, the bring your own bag law is designed to do just that. Encourage reusable bags and phase out the plastic ones. But there could be more changes to this new law. WMER 2 News' is Jack Watson has an update for you. This is for the bottle, a small bottle or can. Plastic bags are a big part of Ravi Perdon's business. Bedonia Liquors off York Road in Baltimore County. Different sizes for different products. He'd rather not switch away from them. The hardest part will be serving the customer with a 12-pack of beer in a paper bag would be very risky. We've known since February that those big grocery stores are going to be among the locations to phase into paper bags they have to charge for. Exemptions for liquor stores are under discussion right now. The new county law will take effect in just over a month. Ban plastic bags at retail stores except small ones, with three or fewer locations operating solely in the county. Those are exempt both from the plastic ban and from having to charge customers for every paper bag. That exemption originally did not include liquor stores, but an effort in the county council could soon change that. Anybody that gives you a paper bag would have to charge you five cents. Council Chairman Julian Jones is generally supportive of getting rid of plastic bags, but thinks a blanket ban would go too far. That includes the five cent surcharge for paper in liquor stores, which he wants in that exempt category. Right now, the uh, liquor stores, some of the small businesses have come to me, wanted to make it absolutely clear they do not want to charge five cents for a bag in their words that they have been giving for 40 years. The county council will vote on the liquor store exemption this October 16th. For stores that fall under the new law, there will be a 90 day grace period from when it takes effect on November 1st. In Baltimore County, Jack Watson, WMAR 2 News.